the guy that I'm looking at is round about the same, but he's starting on three under. I am going to talk about Xander Shoffley again. And every time we talk about Eastlake, I have to talk about Xander. You see him there, 30 to one. We talk about Rory loving Eastlake. This guy, I mean, you, here's all the proof as to why Xander Shoffley is somebody to watch this week. Um, last year, he finished fourth year. He shot 63 in the second round to close the gap at the top. Scheffler only had a, a two-shot lead at the end of Friday. In 2021, he finished fifth. He gained almost three and a half strokes on the field that year. In 2020, he shot 15 under for the week and he actually shot the lowest score without the handicap system. Finished second in the end, but um, if it had been a normal stroke play event, he'd have won by three. He finished runner-up here in 2019. He won the Tour Championship in 2017, but that was before the handicap system came into play and he didn't win the FedEx Cup. We had two winners. Justin Thomas won the FedEx Cup that year. But anyway... Um, Xander loves Eastlake, safe to say. And then you look at his recent form, 11 top 20 finishes in his last 14 starts. So yes, he's seven strokes behind Scheffler. But when you look at his record around Eastlake and the way he's been playing, another one that he hasn't missed a cut this season, that seven shot starts to seem a little bit smaller. So I'm going to be looking at Xander as my guy in the middle this week to... Maybe take advantage if the guys at the top start to bobble. Yeah, it's a demanding course from tee to green, no doubt. You know, we talked about long par threes, the ninth, the, you know, some of these long tee shots on the back nine. We saw Rory coming down the stretch last year. Of course, mm -hmm. 18 is a, is a chance for an eagle, sort of a dog leg left around the corner. Seems like Alexander Schauffele is just right there at this course every year. Yeah.